Same thing right here. We're going to fold beyond the end of that bumper on the rear of the boat also. And that bumper's right, that bumper ends right here. All right, when you're coming off the water, you always want to uh, get all the standing water out of the hull. Always try to dry the boat as best as you can, but if you're in a hurry, you can go ahead and put the thing away, put the hull away when it's damp. Uh, but when you get home, you want to make sure that you get that hull out and dry it out completely before you store it for uh, long term. All right, now I'm going to start putting the frame away. Okay, when we pack up the, uh, the frame, we have uh, optional packing sleeves here, and these work really well for long-term storage of the parts. They keep the individual parts separated and just added protection. So I'm going to put all the, all the rods in this first bag here. I'll just go ahead and slip the two deck bars in also. Set that aside. Then the next bag is for the combing pieces. And the next bag I've got here is for the keel. And the last bag is for gunnels. Okay, we'll go ahead and load all the long frame parts into our Longren bag here. And if you were, if you were uh, packing for a trip that you were gonna, say, fly somewhere with, you may not wanna take the cotton packing sleeves just to eliminate, uh, eliminate some weight and bulk with the boat. But these are great long-term storage bags. And next we'll put the ribs into the rib bag.
Okay, you can transport your boat in three bags or you can transport the boat in two bags. It's, uh, it works a little bit better if you're traveling on the airlines just to go ahead and put the rib bag in with the hull bag, in with the hull. All right, there you have it. Two bags, one boat, long haul folding kayaks, and canoes.